Now we're breaking down three of the biggest coronavirus claims this week. Did you see the posts about the coronavirus living on your phone for 96 hours? We dug into the claims and found that it's actually using the number for SARS. This report from the WHO specifically. Basically, COVID-19 and SARS are both types of coronavirus. In 2003, SARS was found to survive on glass surfaces for up to 96 hours. And most modern phones are made of glass. So it's a bit of a logical leap but it is possible. Since they're both coronaviruses, COVID-19 could live as long as SARS did, but it's all based on those SARS tests, not COVID-19. Next up, the headlines that if stores run low on hand sanitizer, you can make your own at home. We checked this out and actually found a WHO recipe on how to do it. A few things. One, washing your hands is always gonna be more effective. Two, this recipe has some specific steps. If you don't follow them, it won't be as effective. And three, the key is the alcohol concentration. If you can make a gel that's 60% alcohol or more, it can kill most bacteria and destroy most viruses. So yeah, this is true, but washing your hands is much easier and more effective. Finally, the flu versus coronavirus. Many headlines compare the two, but are they even similar? Well, the WHO looked into the question and why people seem to ignore the flu, but stock up on masks and groceries for the coronavirus. This virus is not SARS, it's not MERS, and it's not influenza. WHO Director General Dr. Tedros Ghebreyesus said the two viruses are actually pretty different. Both are spread by respiratory <laughs> droplets, but that's the only big similarity. The coronavirus is new to our immune system and can cause more severe sickness since we don't have any built up defenses. The flu, on the other hand, is spread more easily between people. So Dr. Gabrice has pointed out that the viruses are different, but he didn't want that to lead to more fear. He pointed out around 80% of coronavirus cases have been mild and in countries like the US, the risk of getting sick is still very low. If you're seeing more claims like this, send us an email, we'll check them out.